Hi guys, thanks for coming back to my channel and um, happy Sunday. <laughs> I thought I would bring you along with me tonight because you know lately every time I come to this certain spot something weird happens and it's repeated. So anyway, I'm just going to uh, start off the vlog by talking about what's been going on. And if that weird situation comes up, I'll be sure to spot it. So, I'm gonna move over. Guys, this is one of my favorite spots, but I had to stop coming so often because it's, it gets weird out here. Um, but I love the area and the people seem to be so nice here. So anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about what's been going on this week. It's been causing me a lot of stress, but nothing new. Let's put it that way. And so I, I was talking about having this appointment um, just this past week. And um, even in a previous video before that, I remember telling you, that um, I had some legal things going on that don't seem to get finalized for one reason or another. And it's been causing a lot of stress. I'm in permanent limbo, it seems. So, um, it really has more to do with my parents and uh, the way that they, their estates are being settled. And I don't want to give too many details, but, um, hang on. Uh, but, you know, um, I, uh, I guess I should just tell you what I can and, uh, leave the rest up to your imaginations. Uh, my mom passed away in 2019. And, um, my parents both left wills. They were very clear and the fact that I was the only sibling and there were no other uh, beneficiaries. I carried out the duties of executor to my mom's estate and someone else carried it out for my dad. And without getting into details, I mean, that's been my dad's estate that's been going on for 30 years. And now, um, my mom's estate was turned over to me in August, uh, her finances, but it seems that the property was not. And let me explain why I think that that is so. I um, received instructions from my lawyer, and I, I really have faith in my lawyers. They are... They have proven to be very professional in the past. However, because of lockdowns and other delays, I never knew what to think, you know. Um, in the past, I've been stressed out. In the past 30 years, I've been stressed out over this, and so was my mom. Um, so now, when it's time to deal with this stuff, I get very, very stressed out all over again. But when I went down for my appointment with legal reps and they were finalizing the details of my mother's estate so that my father's can be passed down to me now, um, we spoke to her investment bank and everything was all systems go because she has a small investment somewhere. And so I remember going to give the bank that financial institution my mother's will in 2019 which clearly states that I am the executor of her estate well years went by months nothing happened um, I tried to communicate with the bank finally the bank called the estate department and I explained briefly the situation and I said I would pass the contact number on to my lawyer and they said yes 
please do but everything is fine um, all we need to do is speak to your lawyer he says I have the will everything is all systems go okay <laughs> um, that was what three years ago two years ago something like that I guess it was left for too long and um, so when we I went down to finalize this last detail um, we spoke again to the estate department and the same, I think it was the same person, again said everything is fine. All I need to do is present my ID and um, everything is going to be turned over, like her investment is going to be turned over to me. Uh, they would transfer that little bit that she had to me. Because I don't want to, it's not for, you know, financial stuff, but we can't leave it open. Because then um, my mother is in perpetual, uh, it, it, it can't be left open. It has to be finalized. That account has to be closed one way or another. So, the next day I go down to the financial institution, which is very close to my house with all my ideas. And they said, well, I'm sorry, you're not the executor. What? Of course I am. I gave you the will. You've had the will for three years. Oh, well, sorry. Bye. I said, well, who told you this? I just spoke to him yesterday with my lawyer. And he said, that's all the info I have. There's nothing I can do. I said, well, can you go and get the will? Nope. I said, this is, this can't be. I said, why didn't he tell my lawyer? You, you guys wanted me to get a lawyer. Well, the lawyer is trying to deal with you and you don't want to deal with her. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know anything. Okay, fine, then why are you helping me? Why was the appointment made by him with you? You know, I, I don't understand. Oh, well, the email says specifically that you are not the executor and you are not entitled to anything. And you know what, guys? Um, because the last little, in the last little bit, I've been getting, you know, those property taxes that come, they're again in my mother's name. First, they became turned over to my name after the um, other financial stuff was turned over to me. And then it reverted back to her. You know what happened? I'm trying to figure it out and I don't know for sure. Somebody at the bank destroyed. I can't even say it. They destroyed my mother's will. I don't know who. I'm thinking a janitor, uh, a prisoner, security guard. I don't know who. You know those uh, security people that go collecting money from the banks late at night? Maybe one of them? I don't know. I've heard of worse things happening. I don't know. I do know that there are two people who would do this to me. Two males. Um, I know I've talked about another female or two in my other videos, but I don't think, even though they have very heavy connections with this financial institution, I don't think, you know, I don't think they would do anything like that. Not because I think they're great people, but I just don't think they have it in them. I could be wrong. Anyway, because all these people I'm talking about are all known to each other and connected through me, I don't know what to think anymore. And I've been crying, I've been leaving messages for my, you know, for the lawyer, pleading for a response. Um, I guess they don't know what to think. My guess is, I think I can predict the scenario. That will is gone, and now it names someone else 
as the executor. That's what the bank told me. And it's not true. I remember the lawyer coming as my mother lay in the hospital in 2018 and everything was finalized. Anything older than that date is illegal. So I don't know what they're talking about. And nobody ever gave them a will except for the one that was made at the very last days. You know what I'm saying? In order for them to have anything different, this is larceny, whether they know it or not. It's larceny. And I can't handle this. I just can't. I cannot handle it. I, I just don't know what to think anymore. I'm all by myself dealing with this. And I don't know what to do. I, I, you know, that's what I've been dealing with. And this lemonade cleanse is a great distraction for me because it puts my mind at total ease with everything. I figured this out because the same thing happened with my dad's will. I went home one day and it was gone. And um, when I tried to go back down to the legal office, they pulled out a will that somebody already told me. It's not legal. It's, it's, it's not. It has never been probated. She pulled out a will that was never gone to court. Instead, the one that I had that was stolen from these two men that I think I know who did it, who did it, and they hated my mother. That's what I heard. They had such contempt for my mother. Um, the will that my dad had was probated in court in 1998 when I was working nights. I remember crying when I got that will in my hands and we spent thousands and thousands to get through all that legal you know that legal mumbo jumbo and the courts what they did was they deleted all the illegal um, phrases and um, I won't get into that but there was a lot of stuff in there that didn't sound right but uh, what, what I can see is that somebody out there is trying to become my executor when my parents didn't leave me with one. They left my mother and I with one, but you know, I have no siblings. Well, what, what are they gonna do? Um, but in both cases, my parents left things to me. They left me the house, they left me the money. And in this thing that is going on with this specific branch where my mother banked, it, it doesn't make any sense. I never gave them a will that said anything of the kind. Something was illegally done. And even in, if in the case that they don't know what's going on, they're still responsible. I have the person's name of the, of the, you know, the person who took in the will. She's no longer there. Whether she knows it or not, she is the one who is responsible. I don't know what's going on, guys. All this gaslighting and my lawyer won't respond. I guess she doesn't know what's going on. I bet you any money, she went to her vault at the office and found the, the will gone. This is the second time. How can our legal team do that? I asked her to be very careful because somebody was going around taking all my parents' legal documents. Nothing was done. Nothing. Um, I guess after the lockdown, people went nuts. But even before the lockdown, I remember my father's will went missing in 2015. 
And now my mom's will went missing. Apparently, because it, the bank doesn't have the one that I gave them. They have a fake. So, guys, all this crime, I don't know, I can't take it anymore. So, anyway, so far nothing has happened here. At least that's going okay. <laughs> um, I really like this spot. And in the fall, it's so beautiful here. Anyway, I think I will just end the video here. I, you know, I, I don't know what's going on with the bank. I don't know what happened, so I can't say. But if they would just produce what they have, I, it's obvious that there are more than one wills going around. One person has one, the other has another. So, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I, I can't handle this anymore. I can't, I can't, I cannot handle it. This is hate. Who would go through all that trouble to destroy a will? Somebody who hates my mom, my dad, me. Anyway, because this is criminal, I don't care whether it affects the estate or not. It affects me, my identity, and I want the criminal caught. Nobody would do that unless they were intending to commit a crime. Nobody. So, anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end stuff right here, end the video, and I think... I will save the rest of my energy for uh, tonight's update on the fourth day of my lemonade cleanse. So I'll see you in a little while, but um, in the meantime, I hope you have a great evening and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.